Hello everybody, welcome to Resonance Arcade. Uh, we're playing the last part of Metal Gear Solid and uh, we're on the uh, final battle and and cutscenes and hours of stuff, codex stuff and that. As you can see, Sam is with me today as well. He's uh, popped over with his new car and uh, we're, we're hopefully, hopefully everything sounds good and everything so uh, we're all good to go. And um, yeah, we're just, we're just about to put the PAL key, the hot PAL key, into the third thingy, and then we're going to get lots of monologuing, I believe. So let's get on it, on with it. Uh, can you share your screen, Chris? Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, yeah, so the we're, we're just about to do these final battles, but Lou isn't with us today, as you can see. He's off on his jollies. Uh, I don't know exactly what he's doing, but he's not here. I think he's gone to see the Queen. <laughs> yeah, he's on to see the Queen, as uh, most of us in England do at some point in our lives. It's kind of a rule when you live here, you have to go and make one visit to the Queen. Mm, yeah, to have afternoon tea. Yeah. Yeah. She's a busy lady. So, yes. I think, hopefully, we're in the place that I expected to be. You might have to love a chaff grenade in there, though. I thought I just did, though. I'm nice. sure I put one in there just before I, I saved yeah. last time. Oh, no, that, was, that wasn't on the... Um, it was on a different save, sorry. Ah, right, okay. <coughs> so yeah, so this is where all the twists start coming thick and fast. Aye. The old computer column there. No, why? Yeah. No, why? No, why? Does he know what? Oh, it just said, didn't it? It said computer activated or whatever. Ready for launch? Metal Gear Solid is about to fuck you up. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid? Metal Gear is about to fuck you up. I just thought that title, Metal Gear Solid, doesn't really make any sense. Because Metal Gear is the thing, and then Solid is Solid Snake. But it, they're not really... As a phrase, it doesn't really make any sense, Metal Gear Solid. It just sounds good. Yeah, yeah it does just sound good. I don't know what the Japanese translation is. So yes, here we are. Um, Two are gear solid or? Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Explaining uh, lots of exposition about Master Miller. Yeah, who Master Miller actually is. So notice that DARPA's now talking about we when he's referring to the bad guys. We couldn't get this code. So I think we've re I've revealed at least a number of times on the on the previous streams exactly who Master Miller actually is. I don't think we have. I think we've actually managed to keep that one. I think I might have said it once, possibly. Don't know. Either way, but you, anyone who's played this before will already know who it is. Anyway. Yeah. It's a typical bad guy reveal, though, isn't it? Just think, what a twist. <laughs> Yeah, M. Night Shyamalan would love this. Just don't let him make a live-action version of it, because... <laughs> Metal Gear Solid by M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, that would be terrible. He doesn't know how to do action, that bloke. So don't let him do this. Yeah, I hope they don't do a movie of this, I'll be honest. It doesn't need it, does it? I don't really... Other than just being a... I mean, if they, could, they could do this game as a film, and it would probably just about work, but it still wouldn't be... They couldn't get all the stuff into it. We talked about this before, haven't we? Like, there's, there's so much detail in little bits of stuff. It's the same as doing a book, I guess. But, yeah. but it's, it's about the experience you make for yourself, exactly. though, isn't it? That's that's what's interesting about games. Yeah, definitely. And a game like this as well, like we talked about, the, the, all the little bits that are in this game. That a lot of it we've skipped over because there's loads of extra codec calls you can make. You can know you can call Master Miller and Otacon all these guys all the time, and they'll give you loads of mostly irrelevant information but it's just world building it's just yeah there's, there's so much of it though isn't there loads. all of the games have like, it in as well during the boss fights you can call the colonel you can call master miller and they'll say oh no this is the background of the character this is what they did this is how they fight why don't you try doing this and they'll give you helpful tips and stuff it's always like having an appendix of information available for you. yeah <clears throat> I love, I love how they time this perfectly. Just find him. Yeah. He's been dead for three days, however. Just as Master Miller starts referring to the bad guys yeah. as we, they go, Master Miller's body was just found in his home. So who is it? Almost too easy. Talking to me, dear brother. Oh, and his accent changes. The sunglasses come off. <laughs> the hair goes down. <laughs> he reminds me of someone as well, Liquid. He's like Lion or something it's, like that. <laughs> it's like a, it's like lots of anime characters, basically. 
He has got very big hair. Yeah. At the, um, there's, there's these briefing files you can select in the, from the main menu, and it's basically it's CCTV footage of Snake after they've picked him up, and he's just sat in a cell, basically in his boxes, and he's got long hair, and he goes past with those scissors, and he cuts his hair because he has long hair like Liquid Snake as well, and he cuts it before he starts the mission. And then in the sequels, he's got a dodgy bullet for some reason, which I was never that keen on. I preferred this spiky hair, dude. But, yeah. I think that's always a risk when you're cutting your own hair, though. Will you get the mullet, or will you... <laughs> yeah. Right. Snake can't trust a barber not to try and stab him in the throat, so he cuts his own hair. He can't trust anybody. <laughs> I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening Snake. the door. I'm opening Good the door. Good man, Otacon. See, Otacon is useful. He's yeah. useful, but he's useless at the same time. <laughs> he's useful at hacking stuff. Don't need that, do I? I do like that little touch as well, Lick was just right outside the door yeah, when you come out, it is cool. Past you. When I first played this game, it was so exciting, I was like, oh, the intrigue. What's going on? Is this the end? Am I coming to the end? Yeah. There well, I remember looking at Metal Gear and putting the PAL keys in, I was like, so I'm deactivating it, but I was like, I've got to fight it. Like, there's not going to not make yeah. me fight it. Try and shoot with the sniper rifle. <laughs> I would say use a stinger, but you probably need all the ammo you can get for the next bit. No, not the stinger. I wanted to use that one. <coughs> or a grenade. That's a bit of overkill, isn't it? You know, <laughs> I don't know. There he is. Nothing. It's bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, didn't need to do any of that. <clears throat> Here we go. More monologuing. Did you like my sunglasses? No. He's got such a totally lame. You are. He's got such a shit voice, hasn't he? So I could manipulate you more. But it's kind of a good voice because it's easy to hate him. Yeah, you're yeah. just like, oh, you're a dick. <laughs> Sorry, you can't hear his voice, but he's got like a really silly British accent, isn't he? So why has he got a British accent in Snake now? Because they've never actually met before. They've, they've been uh, separated since birth, basically. Um, they talk about Liquid's background that he went. He, what did he? He joined the SAS when he was 16. He's like the youngest person <laughs> ever to be in the SAS. And he's, he's, yeah, I think he was brought up in the in the UK. And uh, that's made him evil. Yeah, Solid Snake was brought up in America. And, but they both obviously joined the military and became said, amazing soldiers. So this is like like the the, the plot to twin is all within like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. It is definitely because he's just going on about how how oh woe is me I'm the I'm the shit one I'm the one that got all the crap genes yeah. you're the one who got all the elite awesome genes. But I don't think that's exactly how genes work. No, at well, least no. not even wearing jeans. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> Need a little drum kit for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you say that one of them got all the dominant genes and one of them got all the recessive genes, and you're like, right, well, they'd be totally different then, wouldn't they? Would yeah, they? yeah. They wouldn't even look. Uh, he, did, the same. he did actually earlier on say that the genes are identical as well. <laughs> I think that's a case of Kojima not really knowing. I think it's probably more genetics. a case of, of a character flaw on his part because he's he's going on about. Uh, that you can split genes like that. I don't think you can. can I don't you? know. I don't know that much about genetics, but I do no. know that dominant tendencies and recessive ones would produce vastly different children if they had, if one had one and one had the other. They wouldn't both be amazing super soldier type blokes. One of them would probably oh, be fucked. It'd have to be identical to a certain point. Hmm. I mean, they are twins though, so there's. One's got same. black hair, one's got blonde hair. I think there's a problem there immediately. Oh, well, that can happen with twins. But I think there's a thing that like yeah yeah twins but not identical twins but obviously in those briefing files at the beginning when Snake's got long hair it is lighter like the hair is lighter so it could be a case of like he's got like mousy hair that gets blonder as it grows longer maybe <sighs> maybe Snake uses it just for men that's yeah, totally that's blonde it. though that's not mousy that's, that's totally totally one hundred percent blonde that's proper bo uh, what was I gonna say. Thunder, thunder, Long thunder, bombshell thunder, blonde, cats. Yeah. It's a bit like a man, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Cursed genes. There's infants terrible. Yeah, that's the project to make them. Uh, oh. It means the terrible children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I don't know why it's like less on front terrible. It's like, just call it something French because it sounds cool. French, they're the ones that do all the experiments, aren't they? That's it. That's what it is. 
Huh? Yeah, they, they love they love <laughs> making genetic super soldier you clones. Can you understand what it's like to know that your garbage <laughs> Wasn't uh, Pavlov French? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Pavlov sounds like it might be more of a Russian -y, Eastern European type name. Actually, yeah. Who what? Liquid. Pavlov. <laughs> Pavlov. <No. Right. laughs> He's really weird with no voice, just watching the heads, kind of. Yeah. See, this bit here where he talks about how he spent time with Big Boss, he always told me I was inferior. I think Liquid Snake's going to be... I think they're both going to be in Phantom Pain, as kids. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Or maybe Liquid will and Solid Snake won't, depending on the age. Well, you can't have David Hater coming back to do Liquid's voice. <laughs> no, unless he does a British accent, which would be a bit weird. Mind you, if it's Young Snake, it's not David Hater's voice wouldn't really be appropriate. Because he wouldn't, either, well, he's would not, it? obviously, he wouldn't have started smoking when he was like seven, I'd hope. <laughs> it is glorious. From your brother. <laughs> Oh, bless yeah. the 21st century back then, eh? Yeah. Thank God we're past that now. Yeah. <laughs> we're already 14 years into it, mate. Who cares? <laughs> 22nd century now, isn't it? No, oh, this no, is the 21st. 21st. Yeah, sorry. Uh, 20th was, was the last one. Yeah. Stop it. I knew we changed at some point. It's that, I always <laughs> had that thing because it, it was 1990 whatever, but that was the 20th, 20th century. Yeah. The same way that I'm 30, but I'm in my 31st year. It's that whole thing. All right, I'm going to try not to use too many rations on the first uh, first go. And do you know what? It, I think you might be able to use the chaff grenades when he's got the radio thingy. It might not be able to target you as easily. It's worth a go, because like, if you can get through the first half of the fight without using rations, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> Liquid. Yeah. It's an imposing robot. Is it a, is it is there a difference in terms when a, you know because there's, there's robots and automatons and if it's a, if it's a piloted mech like this is it still classed as a robot robot? No, not really. Because I think of robots as being humanoid, but I don't know if that's actually what defines a robot either. <clears throat> I think the definition of a robot is something that um, carries out an automated task. Just um, try throwing a chaff grenade, Chris. See if it affects the Metal Gear at all. <laughs> it might just affect maybe the, just the um, missiles or something. That was a stun grenade. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Chafe! It's not helping me at all, that. Jeez. Doesn't seem to have affected him. Uh, maybe it doesn't do anything. It doesn't go in, in any kind of useful direction. It's so well, it, hard it, to It's hard to, to judge. Guess. It's Yeah, it's like away it's away from the laser to the side of the machine guns and towards the missiles basically. How you doing? Pretty well though. Oh look at that. That was leap that was. Nice. Fucking nice. kicking his ass. It's not going to last long. Well, a couple more hits and I think that's the first stage of this fight done. Yeah, just take your time, man. That's the problem, taking time is where, I, where I'm you, messing up here. Yeah. You kind of have to be fast. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just don't feel pressurised. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'll tell you what, doing this without losing too many rations would be a godsend right now. Boom! Gosh, that, nice. was really, that was really In your good face, you blonde twat. Save, save, save. Not yet. Wait until I've got past the uh, ridiculous cutscene that's coming up. Yeah, get past the uh, the grey fox bits and stuff. Look at how awesome that looks. Even when it's disabled. Yeah. There's big wobbly polygons. I love those PlayStation wobbly polygons. They remind me of childhood. <laughs> or at least my teenage years, I guess. Yeah, I think when I do my game, I'm going to try and explain... I was thinking about using cutscenes quite a lot. 
Mm. But I'm thinking it's probably going to be better if, if I don't. It'd be easier for me, for one. And I'll be able to explore different ways of telling a story, you know? So are you, th are you keeping it all in first person perspective? Yeah, I think so. I think I'll go down like the Far Cry so you, 3 type yeah, route, the Far you know? Cry, Bioshock, Half Life route of doing storytelling. Which I think if you're going to do in the first person game, keep it all in first person. It's more immersive. Not just, yeah. and I don't want to really stop people from playing the game either at any point. I want to make, you know, I don't want people to be sat around waiting, you know? Also, don't, don't take control away from them. Yeah, moment. unless I really, really have to, I'm going to try not to. Depends how long your dialogue and stuff goes on for, and can it be just done as you're doing stuff? Well, most of the dialogues will be coming in via a codec of sorts, actually, not like this, but... I think that's a much better way to do it. One thing I, that really pisses me off is when you've got dialogue that you have to listen to, but it makes you freeze in the game, so mm. you just sat there watching it, whereas, um, like, well, Borderlands does it well, where yeah. if you walk out, it just starts playing it over the headset. Do you know, things that I hate as well is when you go to a forced, a forced walking section, mm. when you get to an area and it's like you can only walk through it really slowly. Gears of War does that a lot. Yeah. Every single every we were actually saying that on the stream. It's like holding his ear and going. Rrr, rrr, rrr. It's, it's like naughty, mate. Just the naughty dog games do it as well. Uncharted and The Last of Us does it. In a, Last of Us only does it in a couple of places, but it's still annoying when it happens. It seems to be becoming quite common though. That doesn't it? I don't like it. I'd actually rather them take control off me altogether than make me move slowly through an area while I get talked at. In a way, I, I think. I don't know. It's there more he is with his, There you are shooting. But yeah. Anyway. Up. Talking over big <coughs> stuff here. I'll stop it from moving. I'll stop it from moving. Yeah, Grey Fox comes back, confesses that he killed Nomi's parents and all that when he was younger, and then says, "I'm going to help you out." Oh, he can just run straight through the middle of the machine gun. He's he's all right. He's a ninja. Oh. Uh, yeah, but I'm a super tactical <coughs> espionage action, action dude. <laughs> I think I'm going to nail him without dying. Do you? Maybe one death, possibly. Or oh, accidental deaths, but I've got four rations left. And there's one in the corner, so you've essentially yeah. got a full, uh, a full load out of rations. Yeah. <laughs> then when we get to the liquid punch up on top of it. Oh, oh that's going to be... <laughs> I hated, I really, really hated that moment. It's satisfying when you win, though. Or is it just relief? I'm not sure. Impressive. Yeah. I still don't quite get why Liquid has gone topless for this whole affair. Because I think basically throughout this game, you know that trench coat he's been wearing? He's been wearing that <coughs> over his naked torso. Yeah. Like a proper like 80s music video. Like a proper 80s porno. <laughs> hey, I've come to fix the television. You're not really dressed for it, mate. Let's fuck. <laughs> yeah. I see if that happens <laughs> quite a lot in um, in Japanese culture though, that all of a sudden, you know, that the antagonist will just take the top off. Yeah, that sort of thing of like, throw the coat in like yeah, slow-mo. Like, uh, so that and... happens quite a lot in anime as well. Yeah, definitely. Isn't there a scene on Final Fantasy VII where Seth Roth's walking around with no top on? Most of it. it do you know what, to be At fair, the that's, end, that's, that's the in Western culture as well, isn't it? I mean, how many times have you seen... Um, like an action movie where the guys end up having a punch up with no tops on at the end. It's pretty. Or just like a very dirty white vest. The yeah. very final state of Sephiroth when you do Omni Slash on him, he's, yeah. he's topless then. Yeah, of course. He's, got, he's all six packed up though. Oh, he's he's skinny, like a, but yeah, he's six packed. He's got like a 52 pack, hasn't he? Ridiculous. All loads of individual muscles dotted around him. Yeah. Yeah, That's I said I read, a, I read a summary of the end of Final Fantasy VII and how it works. And Did it yeah, make any more sense? Yes, it does. And <laughs> it totally makes sense now. It's, um, oh, Aeris releases, um, casts Holy when she dies. Yeah. And Holy is what stops, uh, keeps the weapons back. Um, sorry, Holy is what would send the weapons. Hang on, I'm probably going to have to play this first. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is one of my, definitely my favourite bits of this and game. It's it gets you invested in the fight as well when he kills Fox and you feel like it makes you really hate Liquid even if you did hate him already it makes mm. you hate him more you have saved haven't you yeah cool. yeah I think his attacks come faster in the second half of the fight don't Fucking they? definitely yeah well it is the second stage it should be more difficult Three? the fuck out is He's proper knacking me every time he hits me. Oh, to 
just turn around, mate. What are you doing? Put your back on me. All the bases. Put your back on me. Turn your back on me. That hit him. Oh! I thought you were close enough then. Yeah. It's really, really difficult to hit him in this particular state. I am going to die, by the way. At least once. I think, yeah, I think the most time you've got is when he's launching the missile, isn't it? Is that all the rations go? Yep. It's not locking on him. Run away! You can't get too close on this mode, in particular. Mm. I'm so dead, aren't I? Dead. So close? Dead uh, as. Son of a bitch. T1. Certainly beats last time. I know I said we weren't going to mention it, but. <laughs> 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 Who's shouting at me? Now? Was that the Colonel then? Yeah. Oh, I'm boiling. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, hey. shit. God, I can't believe it makes you start the whole fight again today. I can. I can believe that. Yeah, from that bit. Walking in as if you lock on then. Oh, shit, I feel like coming as well. Yeah. Ah! Fucking camera angles, piss off! <coughs> Just keep me in one place, honestly. No, no! I didn't mean to do any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Missiles. There we go. I need to keep doing that! Get up! No, do not crawl on the ground, that will not save you. <laughs> I'm compelled to press X to stand up for some reason. You don't need to do that, do you? Yeah. What do you mean right now? No, you already stood up. Perhaps. Oh, when you fought when you get knocked over, you mean. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> So close. Oh, fuck off, mate. Man. Uh, is it tough not to crack? It is. Doing well, though, man. I think Sam's doing well, not grabbing the controller off me. So he is. I remember all this stuff, but remembering how to do it and actually physically doing it again. You know, it's been a long time since I've played this game as well. I do remember when I had like quite good skills at playing this fight. You have to just be like bam, bam, like really get into the flow of his attacks. Mm. It's hard to get into it though, and it's a lot easier with our log stick as well. See, that's when he does it. When he ducks down like that, that's yeah, when, when he goes, goes back on his haunches, you know he's going to do the. Uh, so I thingies. need to. So as soon as he ducks down, then start moving forward, so you've got more time. That's when I need like, to like actually that, aim for him. And then he'll, Stop he'll... fucking changing the camera! Oh! Right, you... right, is he going? No, no. A bit further away, maybe? There we go. Oh, he's going to do it now. No, he's oh. not. Oh. This is it. Oh, There we go. <laughs> now he's going to hit me. He's not. I'm not going to hit him, though, either. Right, it's lagging. Why is it lagging? Fucking Windows doing updates again. Do you want to pause it and stop them? No, it's not doing them. I hate this game. <laughs> love it. You love the pain. Laser. Something is really, really lagging it. Oh, two in then. That's cool. Yeah, yeah definitely. Bit of machine gun it. 
Oh, missiles. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's alright, you can still get he's just, him. He's just relentless. He is relentless. He wants to kill you, that's why. <laughs> You've just killed someone. Do you, is that not your fill for the day? Oh, too far away from him then. I think two more hits and you should have him though. Missiles. It's miss. when he goes back up, it obviously like the missiles are missing, aren't they? Shit! Damn. Thought I was close enough again. Getting closer though, I think. It's quite fast for a massive nuclear tank, isn't it? Mm. It's a bit nippy. I swear the camera angles can piss off. There's no need. There's no need for that. There you go. Perfect. Boom. Add missiles again. No. Oh, yeah. I'm fucked. Too far away, that's it, isn't it's it? It's hard to see. Yeah, it's hard to tell when his posture's changed. Because it sort of sits back and launches them. There you go, it's launching them. Did I get him? No, I missed him. Of course. Missiles. Oh. Too close to him then. Is that it? That's it. Done it again. Wow. <coughs> That's good. You want it to keep doing yeah, that yeah. attack. That gives you the most time. Oh, piss off. That was a. He was ducking then for a missile. He, he sort of leans forward for the laser and leans back for the missiles. They speak me up the camera angles that have to change when you just don't want them to. All the time. Like constantly. Is that challenge or is that just bad no, it's bad it's, it's <laughs> really really bad I hate camera angles that are forced on me for any reason yeah that is one thing that I think well I guess PCs probably did it before but you know the newer generation of consoles when you had proper third camera control uh, you know on the right analog stick it's much nicer oh two Russians left I'm getting I'm getting the hang of this get now this time mate watch out it's gonna laser you again oh Go for a missile, there we go. No! Another Is that another missile? No. He might do a missile next. Yeah. Oh, yes! One more, little. One more hit! Oh. This should be. It's gotta be it. Third of missiles, I bet you. There you go. It's over. It's over! Fucking Take die! Pull on there, British <laughs> bastard, yeah. He's got more uh, twitching to go. Look at all the explosions. Oh but god, I just, just remembered. Just new tank. <laughs> I just remembered the end. The end cycle chase. Yeah. Is actually a chase and firing and guns yeah, and shit. You don't have to finish trying to finish the you. final boss. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just like you're escaping and. So, how many times does Liquid die? Like, about 20? <laughs> this is the third time, isn't it? This is the second, because you fight him in the hind. Does he not, you not fight him one. before that? No, you haven't fought him before. Oh, it's also a lot I'm thinking of, actually. They both yeah. look quite similar. Hind, then this one, then punch up, then chase. <laughs> oh, do you kill him in the chase as well? Well, at the end of the game, basically. I thought he was dead by then, and it was just his soldiers chasing you by then. No, it's Liquid comes after you in it. Well, <laughs> comes after you in a in a four by four. He's driving and shooting at you at the same he's time. He's fine. Look at him. He's fine. No yeah. issues. And, uh, does he? Is this where he drags you onto the top of Metal Gear just for dramatic effect? Yeah. This, why does it? What, no, what no reason. That's it. it. Other than could have easily like, punched look, fuck out of you on the floor. Look what you've done to my new tank. Liquid. Sleeping late as usual, it's like, mate, we've never met before today, how do you know how long I sleep in for? Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I'm 
done fighting. He doesn't sound that bothered though, does he, about Metal Gear being destroyed? He's still being a bit cocky, isn't he? He's cocky, but he's constantly cocky. It's his, his MO is being cocky. Yeah, a cocky cock. That's what he is. was his dying wish. When he was young. During the Cold War. He has a bit of a weird relationship with Big Boss because he seems to hate him and love him at the same time. He wants to continue his ideas, but he also wants to destroy him by being better than him or something. I think three bosses on uh, three deaths on that last boss, not including the thirteen deaths that we had previous to this. It's quite good, I think. X day on the other X day. <laughs> I said if Lou wants to pay an extra £13, I don't mind. We unfortunately uh, recorded this previous, so I might as well mention it already. And uh, and Sam pressed one of the... He pressed the quick I load F key. I think I F1'd it at the wrong time. Yeah, you F1'd it on the death scene, on the death screen. I was supposed to be loading and it. And it should have been loading it, yeah. And so we lost everything that we'd done and we had to reload an old scene. And then you F1'd it again at the title yeah, screen. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I'm a dick. So it was a collaborative mess up, <laughs> at least. At least it wasn't just me this time. Maybe it's this room that does it to people. Can I look around? Yes, I yes. Hey. Ha! So why are you here then? Well, if you look down at Liquid's feet, if you, oh, you can't do it on this one. If you can see he's actually technically floating. He's not stood on Metal Gear. See what I mean? He's yeah. actually floating above it. <laughs> no, don't tell me. What? What? I love it if you just thought Snakey's just <laughs> moving his head around like a lunatic. It's twitching everywhere. It is reminiscent of the end of um, MGS2, though, this as well. Well, MGS2 Deliberately so, though. Is it, right? There's a whole through line of MGS2 that it, it does... That's Solidus, it, isn't it? Yeah, it apes Metal Gear Solid 1, but there's a whole purpose, because it's the, it's the Solid Snake program, isn't it, as well? I can't even remember what Solidus is. Um, he's the third third kid. But for some reason, he looks older than Liquid in Solid. A lot older, yeah, he looks more like So he must be the first one, like the prototype, and then there the, the second stab at doing it. Thing. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier. Ah, oh, so now they're talking about the Les Enfants Terribles project. I guess I'd find. Yeah, Big Boss seems to go into a lot of comas. He loves him. I like that. That's super baby method. It sounds like a babality yeah, from. Uh, yeah, it's got the capital <laughs> letters as well. <laughs> Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus and later in Someone's uterus, 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 just someone's, anyone's. Just a spare uterus. Yeah, just some woman. I think that woman who's the, the... Hang on. The, oh, the six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. Oh, and it's our fault, yeah. So, oh, And he's taken that to heart and he's... Yeah. ...come a sociopath just because of it. Exactly the same. Finished yet. And I like how Liquid's they taken Snake's top off as well. <laughs> He's pulled him up <laughs> and taken like his top off. That's a good point. But left I, never that really, I never even connected that up. Yeah. Unless you could say that it got damaged in the whole Metal Gear explosion. <laughs> He's, 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 he's saying know, logical right. things, right? In a complete and, and acting really illogically. Yeah, yeah. He is a sociopath. He's, he's totally a sociopath. Disconnected from any kind of reality. His general idea is is to create um, by having sort of first strike capability over the whole world. He wants to create a military state where war is sort of what keeps the world in order. It's a very weird way. He's sort of, all the villains in this series always think they're working for the greater good. Like they want, they want freedom and they want to change the world, and they think they're doing the right thing. But they are prepared to kill as many people as it takes to get what they want. Well, that's what that's what fanatics do, though, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. That's what that's what you're dealing with in Metal Gear. And there's a different theme. Like the theme of genetics is very strong in this one, and it's more of a theme of sort of legacy in Metal Gear Solid 2 and what you leave behind when after you die. This is like the second or third bit of actual FMV in the game, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Just a bit of genetics going on. This is what scientists look like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just Stop ask life, the scientist. Your number two. Through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. He doesn't know all this. He's not that clever. 
don't know. They're both supposed to be like amazingly intelligent. Human from, experiments! Apart from Snake always asking what everything is. Oh. God, we're getting spoiled with FMV. Yeah, there's a lot of FMV in this bit, I remember. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. <laughs> The military secret injected soldiers with soldier genes. Yeah, the idea is they were doing experiments with Big Boss's DNA because he was such a great soldier. Um, and then trying to make super soldiers. Basically, the same similar thing as like the Captain America type thing where they use. They give that stuff to soldiers to make them better at combat, you know, yeah. make them more. That's a really big theme in Metal Gear because they have the whole um, nano machine stuff in Metal Gear Solid 4 to make the soldiers better and more controllable, like suppress their emotions, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And the anti serin injections. I mean, it's very insidious, all this kind of secret genetic experiments. Yeah. So then, the so called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are. Yes. And he's always, yeah, he always ties in historical things like Gulf War babies and Gulf War syndrome into his own Metal Gear universe. So the Gulf War syndrome is because of these big boss genes that they were all injected with, apparently. All this kind of stuff. What? You must have like a, a Metal Gear Bible of rules that must be about we, uh, this thick by now. Oh, we are. Sorry, I thought there was a bit of uh, English there. Or... English. <laughs> what did it say? Like? I think it, I think I just read it wrong, or he said it differently to how it was. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem: signs of symmetry. So do I. Ooh. As do you. Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> exclamation marks. That's a subtitle. That's a look up exclamation mark. What type of disease will occur? That's why we need the old man's genetic. I want to die from the heat in here. Is that one way you are like? Or is it just because there's both years in the room? Uh, it's because this room gets too much man. For this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like this every week though. So whenever you're thinking, you know, whenever yeah, yeah. you look at me and I'm sweating and pouring with sweat, it's because the room's like this. Yeah, it was actually just normal room temperature when we came in. And it's, it's turned into a yeah. sauna. You have to have windows open and that, but we have to close them because of the recording. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? <laughs> you can't fight your genes, it's fate. Or yeah, but you'd find a way to fight your genes, wouldn't you? That's another big point of this game. What's what's That's destined of what are you what free to choose? Tell me. That was all the stuff that Psycho Mantis was talking about, about how every, all the living things are compelled to In just propagate to their own DNA, but that liquid and solid are out of that loop, so they've got what you know, what is their purpose mm. as a life form? Killing things, mainly. First, I will kill you. you could have killed him. Whilst he was unconscious, you could have just, like, suffocated him. Shaggled him with what his own bandana. <gasps> Meryl! Is he alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few So do you remember that torture scene earlier, Steve? Yeah, when he um, was getting his nipples electrocuted. Yeah, you can submit to the torture, and if you do that, Meryl's still there, but when you go over to her after this fight, she's dead. Um, no, and you no escape path. with uh, no, Ocelot at the just, end, whereas we're going to see the, the good ending for this one. This is the canon ending as well, because she appears in the sequels. So. This is like the super happy ending. Yeah, you have to endure the torture to save her, whereas if you give in, she does die. Ocelot says that, he says, if you give in to the torture, I'll kill Meryl. Fair enough. It's not a nice the Pentagon already knows that he's just destroyed Metal Gear, apparently. How does that happen? Uh, well, because the, the Colonel's been monitoring him, hasn't he? Oh, shit, yeah. There we go. There's some codec. Just in the middle of pre-fight. I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. Didn't give him time. Oh, I forgot the Secretary of Defense turns up on the codec as well. He's right, Bellin. The <laughs> Secretary of Defense. Yeah, he does. So basically, we've got to punch fuck out of someone and then escape before the bombs drop. And how long have we got before the bombs drop? Um, oh, that I've got a feeling the starts once there's, a timer. there's a timer. Yeah. Liquid starts a timer when you get like really. There's a timer. Oh. It goes. This is how long until the bombs arrive or something, and then yeah. Yep. Don't worry, Snake. So yeah, the government are just going to drop a nuke and try and cover up all of this stuff. I mean, yeah, you'd have thought that they'd have took Campbell off the comms somehow, not let him. They do do that shortly. 
Yeah, Chris. I remember, I do remember all this stuff. Not exactly word for word, but I remember the general gist of it. If you do that, it's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Oh, well, Chase for telling me that. Meryl was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They oh, me to the sad piano music's kicked in. Her life. The government! <laughs> the government! Are you sure? The government. <laughs> bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you. After all the lies. Oh, Colonel Campbell. He's a good man after all. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Get Someone press the stack button. What happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. Yes, I don't believe it. I punched him. Roy there he is. Has been relieved of duty. This is Lincoln. This yeah. Is <laughs> Lincoln. Defense, Jim Houseman. <laughs> Oh. And for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. <laughs> yes, he's a ridiculous man. <laughs> he's a ridiculous he man. That he was in command of this operation. You bastard. <laughs> By the way, it's still got Snake's top off as well. Yeah, yeah. of course. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. When shit be going down, the nipples come out. Yeah. <laughs> Goes all the way to the top. Well, if you include Solidus in it, it does, pretty much. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists... Just stop monologuing. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. What's Liquid doing while Snake's having this conversation? It's just like... If the world stops when they have a codex. You might have noticed that. And him talking in front of someone makes no... You know, even if he's hiding from someone and he's, he's yeah, whispering, yeah. he has to... Oh, I actually had the liquid stood there getting limbered up for the fight. He's like, <laughs> you have to put a very you have to put a special filter on the cameras that they use to record them, yeah. like for the game, so we only we can hear <laughs> Sol uh, Solid Snake's voice. <coughs> Normally, it's just silent to everyone else. Yeah, just. Yeah, I reckon he might be checking his Facebook status or something. <laughs> well, was this this set in two thousand and five? So yeah, could be. <laughs> It could be like posting that uh, Snake just destroyed Metal Gear, then like I think Ocelot likes this. Yeah, yeah. There's Me not, there's Metal Gear destroyed FML. There's no way out for us. Yeah, this is just literally Snake. Uh, Liquid wants to wants to have a punch up because he wants to have a punch up. There's no yeah. reason for this fight to happen. It's like do you remember the end of um, the first Lethal Weapon when they've got Gary Busey dead to rights. Yeah. And uh, Riggs is just like, do you want to have a fight? And they have a fight. <laughs> it's like, where are you with all the cops well. stood around like letting him have a fight. Because have you seen Gary Busey recently? He it's was on Big Brother. He actually won Big Brother this year. Big Brother's uh, celebrity thing. He's he's just utterly mental. Proper spiritual stuff coming out of his mouth every ten seconds. And awesome. It will be the time limit for our final battle. Yeah. This nuclear module is set to there detonate at the precise moment of her. Death. How? What a load of shit! How is it? Is it an EKG meter as well? Then that's plugged into a nuclear bomb. I don't get that. Three, Three minutes. minutes. If you win. I think what might be a good idea here, Chris, is just to actually try and just let him do his attacks and avoid them just to see what the patterns are. Yeah. Rather than try to chin him straight away. It gets harder as you go along. So have you got to fight this with the, uh, the same amount of ration packs you had left? You no, you got, I don't think you've got any rations, you've got no equipment in this fight. You've just got to do it on one health bar from what I remember. He's basically describing everything here. Alright, 30 seconds has gone yeah, by now. How about you? Oh, maybe. <laughs> All right, okay, just punch him then. Oh shit! That's off. it. When he puts his dukes up, he's gonna hit you. That's what it is. That's it. That's the one. Come well, then, punch me, you dickhead. Nice. 
I don't think either of these guys have ever been in a fist fight before. Well, I'm, he's not punching me unless I run near him. And if I, I just said, like just running opposite ends, they're running back and. <laughs> yeah, I think you know when he runs and stands there with his hands down. If you quick, you can get a couple of punches in, but he just moves again. Yeah. <laughs> just a little love tap there. Ooh, nice. A few combos going on there. Oh, he's gonna change oh, shit. his fight now. I thought I off the end then. <laughs> oh, bollocks. I love how every punch, every he's hit me twice. Every, every punch he does takes loads of life yeah. off, yeah. Even though I'm the one with the better genes. Nice. Fuck off, mate. Oh, he's fucked me. Damn. This is a pointless escapade, isn't it? It's a tough fight, man. <sighs> I forgot he changed his patterns. Yeah, he, does the, little, uh... he changes his patterns. In the, in the last one, it's there's like three stages to his attacks. Ridiculous. The amount of health difference. Yeah, of course. Oh, bollocks. Ha <laughs> <laughs> You always laugh when you're having a fight, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you know what I think it is? You can only hit him... Sometimes he'll... he'll yeah. See what I mean? You can only hit him once before he... Goes. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Get up. <laughs> oh. yeah, you can only get one punch in at this stage. I want to blow you in a minute, mate. Your word. <laughs> That'd certainly put him off. Ooh. What's wrong, Snake? <laughs> oh. I love that little headbutt charge. There's just no point. I can't. Yeah. Fuck off, Kojima. You're a dick. Snake! <laughs> How about you, Snake? Oh. Don't <laughs> Such a bell end laughing at you. Can you knock him off the edge? You have to knock him off the edge at the end of the fight to, right. to finish it, yeah. You can. He, um, he'll do the same as Snake. He'll do that and then pull himself up. Which is also annoying because you can get his health right down to zero, but if you don't knock him off the end of Metal Gear, you can't win the fight. Can't kill him. Yeah. Piss off. in his second stage now. So I think the pattern of attacks is you can punch him once, then he'll attack, and then you can do a three hit combo. I think that's the pattern. Or maybe not. Oh! <laughs> Your mum's out of time. Nice. Come on then. I think he fell off. Not only that, but the timer as well. 
fucking wanker. Mate! So is Meryl unconscious at this point? Yeah. Well, if you, if it's um, if you submit to the torture, then she's just dead at this point, I think. Or, well, no, because that time was attached to her life bar. Oh. I'm not sure. As soon as we're getting bombed, I'm not sure why he's got a bomb there. Yeah, I don't know. So it's he's in control to the last stupid. moment, maybe. Just being a dickhead, isn't he? Nice shot. Very nice. Yeah, it seems it sometimes he gets his invincibility appears very quickly, and then sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if there's a pattern to it though. See so, what I mean? Like one punch there, and he started flashing straight away. Fuck off. Strangest fight ever, isn't it? Just <laughs> run little circles and clip them every time you go past. Cool. Getting near to his final form, I guess you call it. Oh, piss oh. off! For some you reason, should. again, I'm, I'm I'm lagging a little bit. It did lag there. I noticed it as well. Oh, cameras again! There Ooh. you go, you can start knocking him off the end now, but you have to get him down to zero health for it to actually work. I was getting too excited then, I started just yeah. running up to him and going. I think next time I might have it. Because you were getting through his first stage really quickly there, which is good because you want to keep the timer as high as possible, will not you? Have at you, Snake. Have at you, Snake. That's a really old fashioned thing to say, isn't it? Yeah. Have, have at you, Sat! It's like a sort of, uh, you know. That's what English people say when they're, when they're having a fight. It's like, yeah, it's like, you're, rape is a dawn, <laughs> sir. Rape is a dawn. <coughs> yeah, that's what we all say when we're having a fight, don't we? Yeah. Have at you. They get a little glove out and go, <laughs> I demand ah. satisfaction. <laughs> oh, stop being a dick, Chris. I swear my uh, my last boss baddie guy is going to be realistic. Easy. No, not easy, <laughs> realistic. I can't I hate nothing more in computer games than things being unrealistic or buggy. To the point where it affects gameplay, you know. Yeah. It affects your enjoyment of the game. It's just hard for the sake of being hard. I'd yeah. rather I'd rather make it easy and let the person complete the game, you know. There's a fine line between challenge and irritation, I guess. Yeah. It's off. I'm now I'm lagging again. Damn. Some of it just could be from the game itself in certain bits. <clears throat> Death Counter, she is a creeping up. So he won't tell Luke he gets back at Lily Room this holiday. Hmm. He's got to have figured for the finale that it would be more difficult. I, I did tell him that, didn't I? I said, look, we've got... I, I remember this one taking a lot of deaths when I when I played it the first time. And I've been saying all the way through the game, I've been saying, like, when it gets to that punch-up with Liquid Snake, yeah. <laughs> everybody dies, like, a lot on that, apart from speedrunners who obviously have played it 8,000 times anyway. No! What's wrong, snake? 
that speedrunners can do it in like 20 seconds or something. Yeah, there's obviously there's a certain tactic and ways you can manipulate him into, into doing the attacks that you want him to do. Oh! Mm -hmm. I love how he can hit you when he's invincible as well. Yeah, of course. And then I don't get any invincibility whatsoever. You do actually get a little bit. Well, whatever, it doesn't count. But it's not as much as nowhere near as much as his. That's what makes this fight so hard, is when you hit him, he can counter-attack like, instantly. Can, and there's no real indication of when he's going to do it. No, I... I don't know if there's a pattern, but sometimes you can get three hits and sometimes you just can't. Punch to death. It, uh, you know what, every time I die, I'm just thinking superior genes. What the fuck? <laughs> the amount I'm punching him and the amount he's punching me is, is just utterly ridiculous. Yeah. That is a bit of a thing in Metal Gear. The bosses always have way more health than you do. I mean, I know there's tactics to them all, but and I'm being a dick about a lot of this. Now, if you're supposed to be twins, you would have thought it'd be more of a level playing field, wouldn't you? Yeah. <coughs> the other thing that makes this fight difficult as well is that you, you, you know, you like before, you could be tempted to just wait for him to do that charge, but the timer keeps going down, so you've got to try and hit him. That's another thing that makes it difficult. You're like, you press for time, and you've got to try and get your attacks in as quick as possible. He won't fucking stay still this time, will he? I thought I'd jump off then. You avoided his attack. Crap. I'm pretty sure if you're held slow enough and he kicks you off the end, you will fall off and die as well. And so some different. the same things as well, yeah, the same six phrases. I think, you know, after he does that one two punch, I think then you can get three in on him or something. Oh, obviously, just look at my ass. Oh, piss <laughs> off! <laughs> He's still not too bad for time. No, oh, he's got plenty. Uh, that's good. Oh, nice. That was good time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Now you can start knocking him over now. I think he's going to start doing really powerful attacks, though. Just watch out. He starts to do like massive punches that take. Oh, time. and when he jumps up, he hits you as well. Of course. Nice. Okay, cool, man. Plenty of time. One more combo on the edge and you should have him. Yes! Oh, oh no! Now. No! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, man. Gutted. That's so close. That's the worst, man, when you get, like, this close. And you're like, Big I'm going to do zero. it, and then you just die. Oh, I want to finish. Game. I want this game to be over. <laughs> I need to eat some. I'm starving. <laughs> There's quite a bit more after this as well. I know. <laughs> There's just no prediction, is there? You can see him duck, but by then you've already pressed the button three times. Yeah, I think it's a, well, as soon as he gets his fists up, you know he's going to attack when yeah, he's on this first stage. Right there, you see? Yeah.
four hit combo there. <laughs> I need to hit him, like, I need to combo him, like, twice before it takes one hit off him. Yeah. Yeah, off your three attacks, that kick you do is the most powerful one. But obviously, it's only sometimes you actually get to get three hits in, isn't it? Oh, good shit. Loads of time, man. Shit! That's right, your health's not too bad, though. You've got more health than he has, mate. Oh! Oh, this is it. Couple more combos. It's getting tense. <laughs> <laughs> no! You avoided his attack though, which is good. What is the music like at this point? Oh, his, his fucking health's coming back up. You need to get him off the end. Oh, oh no! If you knock him off the end, he will die. Now, now, now. Oh, God. That's yes! it. Fucking in your face, you fat <laughs> twat. God damn. <laughs> it feels good just watching you do that. Like, oh, take that, you... S I've already called him a blonde-haired bastard. What can I call him? Yeah. Silly sausage, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Once yeah. You're English twice. You're big dafty. <laughs> you burp. Meryl. You wazzick. Are you alive? He's fa by the way, he's fallen off a 40 foot robot. Yeah, Let's yeah. point that out at this moment. Onto Punched to fuck and fallen off a 40 foot robot. Onto what? Is it a, uh, what, a steel plate? And floor? been exploded twice. Yeah, yeah but you see, but. People do survive 30 and 40 foot falls, so it's not a death sentence. After all this, though, as well, after being yeah. punched to fuck as well. <laughs> No, uh, unless you see someone with like, well, even if someone shoots someone through the head with a gun in a game, it doesn't necessarily mean they're dead. No. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I've uh, been playing through uh, through Far Cry 3, and you die about seven times in that. You get stabbed through the heart, oh, you get yeah, shot yeah. in the head, you get shot in the chest. Yeah. You just keep coming back to life from it all. Well, the introduction the to the game like, like, that keeps you alive. The tattoo. The tattoo. Yeah. It's Citra. I do like the story in that game. I do think that the main character's a bit, I don't know, of a douche. Yeah, the main. I like the island though, and the whole the whole the tattoo thing and stuff. I like all that. Uh, yeah, it's cool. The island obviously is the it's basically the main character in it, really. Or the two islands. So when are these missiles coming? You what? Where are the missiles? Well, I tell you, if I was Snake, I'd be like, shut up, get Meryl, let's yeah. go. Talk about this later. To see you again. Oh, so lovely. Meryl, I don't have a heart. <laughs> I don't care about you. <laughs> Is <at all>. it? <laughs> he looked down then and went, That's my codec. That's my codec. <laughs> Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You <laughs> saved her, man. Good job. Yeah. I got some bad news. Yeah, this codec call goes very differently. Like, if she's dead, it's like Meryl's dead, and he's like, oh. And he's like, I'm nothing. I have a failure. <laughs> it gets really down on himself. Yeah, you can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. Oh, I'm so happy that those, ba those bottles, the bottles, those battles are over. Yeah, I don't so think the chase, the chase bit is as hard, but it's still a bit tricky. There's still lots of ways to die in it. Take care of security along your escape route too. What are you going to do? Me? I, I'll stay here. How long is the uh, chase bit on for? It's a fair time, from what I remember. Probably about five or ten minutes if we make it through without a death. I'm just trying to decide whether or not I need to go to the bathroom. Let's see. See how, see how you last, because we're right at the end now. Yeah, we're getting... Um, yeah, there's obviously there's a, there's a bit after the credits as well, but obviously the credits are just music playing, so if we get up to that point, 
Yeah, I'll be alright. Um, conservative estimate, I'd say about 20 minutes. Yeah, I can do that. Including the cutscenes at the end. Maybe. So I take it you now go at the parking lot where you get the bike. I will. I've no idea. I can't remember exactly how he gets the bike. Yeah, you do. You go there with Meryl, and um, she like there's loads of guards attacking you. You have to take them out, and since she um, hot wires, is it a bike or is it? A, is it's it a, a bike. Truck? It's a side side car bike, I think. Bike with a I think, about, I think in this game it's not. I think it's um, I think it's a four by four, and you're in the back of it. Otacon. Where's Otacon? But she's never met him, has she? She doesn't know how to pronounce Everyone it. Everyone else in the game says it's Otacon, though. Otacon! Where's Otacon? Otokan. He's fighting for us, too? Yeah. Well, fighting. Yeah. He's pissing his around. pants. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's typing some stuff into a keyboard. And to be fair, they need that support. I know Those programmers are useful, too, know, you know. Man, but he's not fighting, fighting. He's not punching or shooting anybody. No, <laughs> not wouldn't happen. Not in real life. That would be they'd both fall on the ground and take a body break one of his arms. And... She's very trusting though, isn't she? She literally did that and then legs out in mid air. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Started. I must be heavy. <laughs> Looks like we're not going to have a love scene after all. Looks that way. Too bad. <laughs> They're way too relaxed about this pending nuclear yeah, strike, yeah, no, aren't like, they? Because we go, please. Oh, shut it's freezing up! Freezing outside. Should we get shut a jacket up. first? <laughs> You've got to get your sneaking seat back on. <clears throat> She's not wearing much, is she? She actually does put on a jacket. Oh. <laughs> she has like an, like an orange uh, jacket that she gets from somewhere. There you go. See, this is randomly from nowhere. In fact, it, it was there's the jacket on the edge of Metal Gear, just in case you get cold whilst you're piloting him. Because there's no heater inside Metal Gear. No. Is that coming Metal Gear too? Yeah. It's Metal Gear Rare. Exactly. Have heated yeah. seats. Yeah, heated seats and uh, all that stuff. Ration. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if you've got all your gear back or not at the moment. Nothing at all. Nothing I'll at drive. all. I'll drive. You yeah. should. Oh, I think this could be Damn. a case of throttling dudes. It's a bit of. Uh, because you've got no weapons. Nice. I think your best bet, actually, Chris, is probably to go and hide behind one of the jeeps. You don't get the command. Go on. <coughs> Shoot them! This is better if you do it if you hold down triangle and aim at the same time. So if you do it in first person, it might ache your fingers a bit, but it's a lot more accurate. <laughs> Yeah, there'll be a, a gate blockade to shoot all the dudes. Got that draw distance again. It's amazing, amazing isn't, it? isn't it? Oh, that was a quick stop. That was a handbrake turn. No, you go. Don't tell me what to do. You're the one driving. Slow to turn though, isn't it? All right, stop fucking going on about it. Oh my god! Yeah. You'd think one one bullet would be enough. With the massive mounted machine gun, yeah, I would. You did it, Snake. I think there's two of them. Maybe there's and then it's liquid starts chasing you. Yeah, here he goes. Now my tactic for this is just to rain fire on him, like. If you keep firing, he has to keep ducking and then just. Oh, there, that's the annoying off. thing. <laughs> Why is it as well in these games that the uh, that the enemy's car, even though it's identical, always goes faster? Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's able to easily catch you up. Yeah, you're driving at full speed.
I think you just have to survive, don't you, basically? You've just got to get end. through this section. Yeah, you can't kill Liquid at this point. It's, just, it's a case of just surviving to the end of this section. That's why I say just rain fire on him, because he keeps him ducking. Oh, this is tricky, though. Oh, I was shooting him then. It's hard to find the um, the right spot to actually hit him. Yeah, you got it. Uh, you got this. You got this. Oh, piss off. This is the last section when this he's in front so of you. The last section. There you go, you've done it. This is the end of the game, man. You just completed Metal Gear yeah. Solid. Woo! Or as Japanese and it only say, costs Lou 30 quid. It's a Japanese say, Complete! Yeah, he, might, he can go and buy Metal Gear Solid for that, probably. Actually, it might be a bit more expensive these he days. Could that, no, uh, well, on the PSN, it's about 8 quid, but then you have to have a console to play it on. So, a PC version. Probably less than 30 quid these days. How do you get... Is it Autocon that drives you out, then? Yeah. If it's not Meryl... He just he he turns Girl. up at the bottom of Metal Gear and you go Are with you him. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. A little shook up. Meryl, can you move? And crushed by a car. It's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Mm -hmm. Could be behind the car, maybe. Well, Liquid's funny dead. you should say that. He's not dead. Don't yeah, say that. Yeah, of course he's not. Don't be silly. Have you learned anything uh -oh. yet? <laughs> Just die already, you silly bellend. <laughs> Fucking silly bastard. Yeah, you big silly bellend. You plum. Snake! Snake! And then, after all this time, yeah. finally gets him. Fo Fox! This is cool, this bit. Die. <laughs> <laughs> So cheesy, but so good. Who killed him there? Fox die. Fox Japanese die. Fox if you've been paying any attention, this, yeah. uh, this, uh, Naomi Hunter. The reason that she's been arrested and stuff is she injected Snake with this thing called Fox die. So all the uh, all right. the people that he's come into contact with have been it's been genetically engineered to kill them. Um, uh, I, I, I do remember that. It's just the name yeah. Fox gets battered around quite a lot. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. Fox is like, is their unit. Fox yeah. die. Fox hound. You know. Grey fox. Grey fox. <laughs> But yeah, there's obviously the point of, well, if Liquid's dead, they've got the same <laughs> How convenient genetics. is that? <laughs> this is about to kill him all. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, he has been about to kill him about six beginning. times, though, hasn't he? So. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he did it in the torture room, it would have been good. I love how it's all sorted at their end as well now. Yeah, the colonel's back. <laughs> it's like, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, sorted it. The Secretary of Defense Job done. has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear... The, training exercise the colonel's face already. looks like is it's made out of leather. He's an old man. He's designed he looks after, better uh, in two, doesn't he? He does look a bit better. He's designed after, what's his name? Richard Krenner from Rambo. You know, oh, the, yeah. Well, he's a bit older than him, I think, in this. He looks more like him in Metal Gear Solid 2, actually. Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> In any case, the I wonder about that. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Really? Look at this grin. Yeah. <laughs> really? And now back straight back to it. I'm sorry, I, I kept a lot of things from you. You did? It's okay, Colonel. It's not. Snake. I'm not a colonel. <laughs> I've been promoted. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. How convenient. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. So after those the six or six to eight hours of hammering, killing loads of people, being in peril constantly, fighting being tanks and aeroplanes, yeah, being tortured. Fine, fine, fine now. Yeah, it's all good. What about the other genome soldiers that respawned? <laughs> Oh, they'll be. Actually, they're accounted for because they talk about what happens to the soldiers involved in Shadow of Moses. And a lot of them end up as PMCs in Metal Gear Solid 4, don't they? Mm. 
Are you gonna be okay? Roy. Don't That's worry. his name. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mailing's data. Which we've not as used. As got that, <laughs> which is against your NDA, so. Which is what I'm saying. Surely signed an NDA to say that he's not allowed to take gov uh, property out of the government offices. All couples will be monitored for training and quality assurance purposes. I'll go and take conversations when we want it. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. I didn't actually didn't care about that. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. Why do you care? Over She's Naomi. a twat. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my Oh god, brother. she bangs on for ages now, doesn't she? <laughs> but he had one last message he wanted to say to you. <clears throat> See Steve's face oh, is yeah. getting more um, and more full of piss. So, <laughs> if you read this bit that Snake's saying to her here, we did talk over <coughs> it, but um, he actually says, yeah. tell Naomi that I'm the he one who killed her parents. But Snake you. decides to tell her this instead, to tell her Naomi, something nicer. Your brother just saved you, me, and the whole oh. world. Oh. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Yeah, he did a bit. Maybe. And his exoskeleton. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. Nah, he's been squished into a paste. <laughs> he wasn't really my brother anymore. He never was anyway. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for oh. a place to die. God. So <laughs> under a Kleenex, were you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 like that. Oh. <laughs> Same as us. <laughs> he's <laughs> like, oh god, really? <laughs> When am I gonna go? That's up to you. Ah, oh, could you be more vague? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when are you up? <laughs> it's up to you how you use the time left. Oh, shut Not up. an answer, mate. Not an answer. Snake. That's all I can say to you. Is this the last one chronologically? No, Metal Gear Force after this, isn't it? Oh yeah, old snake. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Fox Die comes back in Metal Gear Solid Four. It actually has a big part of the plot in that. Oh it's still shit, in, it does, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's still yeah, in Snake's body in Metal Gear Solid Four, and it's actually a big deal it's of <coughs> his condition. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realised that. Listen to that. What the music? No, there's, there's silence while there's a cutscene on. There's no Lou going. <laughs> In the fucking background. I bet he sat up Canary Wharf now screaming. <laughs> yeah, wearing some stupid t-shirt probably. Says, yeah. says me. <laughs> says, yeah, I can't really say anything about it. I like wearing oh, it's an Avatar one, isn't it? I, was wrong. I love me Avatar. I think Sam loves Avatar a bit more than he loves Metal Gear Solid at the moment. Really? Uh, they're a, That's serious? They're, they're on, on, a, on a par with each other. It says really? how I enjoy Avatar a lot, mate. <laughs> I don't know, Metal Gear is a computer game, and I spent more hours on Metal Gear, so... <laughs> for the, um... For the co-op stream, Chris? Yeah? How do you fancy, uh, Sniper Elite V2? Uh, I don't have it. Can I get it? Cheap? Uh, Steam Gift. Uh... Four, uh, 4.93. Yeah, for that. Is Definitely. that the one where when you shoot him it does like an x-ray of the yeah. bullet going through and smashing the bones up and stuff? But apparently the corpse must be really good. Yeah, I'm up for that. I, I do fancy that game, I just never really wanted to get it on my own, you know? So yeah, one yeah we'll you, do that then. Do you both play snipers in it or is one of you the spotter and one of you the sniper? Or? I think you both play snipers. Imagine it'd be a bit boring if one of you was just the spotter, wouldn't it? But like, he's yeah. over there. Yeah. <laughs> Any game's fun where you get killed, that is. It's the gift that keeps on giving, in it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because there's absolutely no morality connected yeah, to it like, whatsoever. Yeah, there's no guilt, is there? That's the thing. If they're not individuals with families, they're a Nazi. <laughs> How did you see that snowmobile on a satellite image where it's like in I a know, cave? man, it's in a cave. <laughs> it's, it's conveniently hidden away in a cave. Is it like, uh, who put that there? I'm avoiding all of this kind of stuff if I can. I'm I'm putting the effort and work into explaining why it's each thing happens. World. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. anyway. I hope there's not going to be any gaps like this. 
You will you will overlook something, mate, because oh, because you're looking at it from an inside, and whereas it's impossible to look at it from the outside when oh. you're on the inside. Bandana. Oh yeah, that's the unlimited ammo bandana. So you, next time you play through the game, you can get unlimited oh. ammo if you complete it within a certain time. Is it? Nah, it doesn't matter. What about when do you get the rocket launcher? You don't get a rocket launcher. That's Resident no, that's Evil. Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Resident Evil. Just think Resident Evil, Evil in under three hours, you get a rocket launcher. But the, is it, there's the bandana and there's something else in this? If you isn't if it? you do the if you have Otacom with you at this point, he gives you his stealth camo. Ah right, yeah. I think I'd rather have the stealth camo. The stealth camo is much better, but this is the good ending. But yeah. to re so you, it's, if you're playing the game for the first time and intend to replay it, you're best off letting Meryl die first, then playing through with stealth and then saving it. Because if you play through this game with stealth, apart from the boss battles, you're essentially on easy mode. Because sneaking becomes, well, it's a non-issue anymore. You can run through all the you, you can, can run up to guards with stealth mode on and punch them, and they'll go, uh, yeah, and but they won't see you, <laughs> and you just punch them again. Must be in my imagination. Yeah, they won't do. It. You can run right into them. They won't <laughs> so do anything. Nose is bleeding. It's amazing. <laughs> it's actually really funny. What was that? What was that? What was noise? that noise? Huh? So, huh? where to, Snake? Somewhere we can get your hair cut, love. My name's David. Fucking eighties, okay. David. My name's um, David. she's got going on. I, what I like that. Is. I like that twist at the end of this when you said it was David. I didn't David know. Hater. I didn't know David Hater did the voice at the time. Even though it comes up on the screen, I didn't really know who he was. Yeah. But when it said David, and I looked up afterwards, I was like, "Oh, Snake has a name. Cool." Looked it up, and I was like, "Ah, ah." Well, I see what they did there. Solid Snake. He seems like a Dave. <laughs> Whatever that means. I was thinking Marcus Stewart. <laughs> Stuart Snake. <laughs> I don't know what his surname is. I don't think you ever get told his surname. He does look like a David. I think he looks like a David. I think I'm Or a Michael, maybe. A particular blend of polygons looks like David. Yeah. Maybe a Marmaduke. His attitude and his voice are a David thing. So, for the first game then, £30. 30 deaths. Do you know what? That's really not too bad. I don't think I don't that's bad. Think. No. I was actually thought it might be a bit more than that. A, t a lot of them are daft mistakes that I made as well, and a lot of them are to do with. Come on. I'm going to blame camera angles in this game for a lot of it so. as well. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying that I wouldn't have died if it wasn't if the camera angles weren't like they were. But yeah, a lot of the time you just walk into things because mm. they're put in the wrong place, or or maybe the maybe it's done on purpose. It's just a really bad design choice in my eyes. Mm. Don't punish the player ever. Make them, you know, reward them constantly. In my eyes. Oh, here's a little bit of the old nuclear bombs are bad bit. Well, to be fair, the figures it gives you are, they are quite sobering. Like, what is it as of? Yeah, that's a lot of new, as of now, I bet there are more now, man. Yeah, maybe. Well, there has been, uh, throughout the 2000s, there was, um, there was a few disarmament programs yeah, there, well, going the, on, weren't there? That's what, this, this that's what this is supposed to be. The Shadow Moses is supposed to be a nuclear disposal facility, but not. It's the other way around. It was a secret development. So, uh, if we ever do a, a one on game music, I'm definitely going to bring this up. Unfortunately, Steve, you can't hear this, but this song that's played on the credits is called "The Best Is Yet to Come." I can't remember who the artist is, but I believe it's sung in um, in Celtic. I first thought it was sung in Japanese, but apparently it's in Celtic. It's a really nice, um, melancholy piece of music with some really lovely vocal melodies in it, very stirring. And it's actually used throughout the game. There's loads of bits where that music comes in and out of the game, and it's really woven through yeah. this story. They never did that in any other Metal Gear game, um, where they used the credit music as an actual central theme music to the game as well. In other Metal Gears, it's the main Metal Gear theme, and then there's a separate credit I mean, I just listen to it now on YouTube, Chris. All right, I've just sent it to you on there. Uh, it's got a really album, nice actually. piece of music. Um, I've actually got it downloaded on my own personal music because I like it that much. But anyway, yes, there you go. That's Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. One completed, finally. Job done. So, how I, how do you feel about it having played through it again? I know it was under different <laughs> circumstances. You were, had us taking the mick out of you and talking over stuff. But common common frustrations being the control system. Which is improved in solid in Twin Snakes, anyway. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, no access to analog, unfortunately, because the emulator would not allow me to. Um, or it could be that I'm using a DS4 and it only allows mm. uh, Maybe. PlayStation One pads. Uh, what they call dual. Well, you had to turn the analog on and off on the PlayStation. They could. I don't know if there's an option for that with this, but anyway. Uh, the, the, 
yeah, it's not, you don't have it on the actual controller, it's in the settings, but I've turned it on and it doesn't work, so, but yeah, I mean, I said camera angle's really, really, really annoying, and I think, oh, sorry, so yeah, camera angle's really annoying, and I think, um, I don't know, I don't think there's as much nostalgia there as before, I think, still think it's a really good game to play, mm. I, I enjoy the stealth aspects of it. The the firing and the shooting is really annoying, but that's another control system thing. Yeah. Uh, and again, I mean, I was paying a lot more attention to the story. You know it anyway, but than anyone else was because you guys were talking. I was trying to yeah, read it and follow along. And yeah, the story, I remember most of it. But that that's I think that's why you why you play these games. I think so. I mean, I've played through this game several times and skipped the cutscenes, so I actually do. I think I enjoyed the gameplay for the gameplay's sake as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to compare it to other PlayStation games of that era. I mean, you've got your old tank controls in Resident Evil, which feel very primitive, but they work for that because you're supposed to feel scared and slightly off balance anyway. Mm. Um, I think it had a good control system for a PlayStation 1 game. It, it was stuck between being not fully 3D and 2D, which is something that Kojima and his team didn't really address until the re-release of Metal Gear Solid 3. Because Metal Gear Solid 2, you can aim in first person, which is great, it really helps that game a lot, but you have to be static whilst you're doing it. Um, but you're still that top-down fixed angle, you know, which is more of an isometric Zelda type thing. In a 3D game, the camera's usually behind you. They really they got into that in Metal Gear Solid 3, and that game becomes a lot more replayable because of it. I think. Well, I I'd be honest with you, I'm not. I'm I'm going to play through Metal Gear Solid 3 and complete it for the first time with you guys. But I I didn't like the controls in that because of the Octo Camo stuff. Not the Octo Camo. Oh, the, the Camo system. The Camo system was really. Well, you'll see when we Do play you know it. Stay. It's it's in that game rubbish. I don't think you have to change it as much as you think you do. There's a couple of camos that when you pick them up, like the, I think the Tiger Stripe camo. Is the is basically your best all round camo for all the forest stuff, so you can basically leave that on for most of the game, and you only change it in specific situations. Yeah. But we'll get I, to that when we get to that. That's another twelve hours away yet. Yeah, we've got to get exactly. to Metal Gear Solid Two. So yeah, next we'll be playing Metal Gear Solid Two HD collection. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I'm so excited when that game came out. Yeah, it, it I mean, was. I think I think I played this before. You know, before I played the first one. Do you know so, about the big bait and switch they did in Metal Gear Solid Two, where they, you play, you start off playing a Solid Snake for the introductory chapter, and then you start playing as a different character for the rest of the game, and people went mental. Yeah, it was a huge. I do twist. remember hearing about that when it came. That was on the PS2, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Metal Gear Solid Two, because I think I got a demo disc of it. Yeah. And uh, I can't yeah. remember. It, it was either that the cutscenes were of Snake and the character wasn't, or the character was Snake and the cutscenes weren't of Snake, but it was something like that. It starts off and you're yep. kind of doing, you're doing a, it's it's slightly related, but it's not the same mission, is it? No, you were a tanker, on? loyal tanker, and Metal Gear, the new Metal Gear, has just been developed by the Marines. Uh, so you're there to go. You're there, you're not working for the military anymore. You're working for yourself and not con as a private group, and you're just there to do reconnaissance. You go there and take pictures of it, and then. A terrorist group attacks and yeah. your gear gets stolen and then it cuts to two years later and you're not playing as a snake anymore, you're playing as Ryder. So the introductory chapter, which is the demo, it was a free demo, I think, that got sent out with... I think it was in Zone of the Enders, but I think you could get it in magazines and stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, everyone went completely mental over the demo for a number of reasons. There was the bit and switch that they had they had problems with. The graphics of it as well. The for graphics the time. were amazing, but amazing. The, all of the little additional things that he, he put into... Metal Gear Solid 2 all of the little like little cool things and all the um, what were they called little like easter eggs yeah. in the game they were, they, it was rife with them and people loved that loved that level of detail and it was again it was but the, 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 the upgrade in terms of like the physics of the of the enemies like the way you can shoot them and they all got radios on them so if you shoot their radio they can't radio in an alert yeah, yeah. all that stuff was amazing so cool um, oh here we go this is uh, this is Ocelot. Yeah. Yeah, Ocelot, the triple quadruple agent who's never working for who you think he's working for. He wasn't working for Liquid. Ocelot was working for this guy. I've just got a black screen here. Oh, Have shit. you not got the. Um, the you just missed all the title credits. Oh. Yeah, over the credits there, there was um, there was some footage of like the Alaskan wilderness with. Uh, what did we see? Polar bears and stuff. All, and it was all really nice. You can watch the video anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, another twist! Yeah, 
So liquid that's, was a that, superior that, one. That, I now, I'm now, I actually forgot about that, and I'm happy <laughs> that liquid was harder to kill than he should I have been was. because he was the superior yeah. one. To rule the world. Mm. Who's he talking to? No one knows that you were the third one. Third one? Solidus. Solidus? What should I do about the woman? Yes, I'll keep her under surveillance. I think that's Naomi they're referring to, isn't it? Yeah. Certainly not Meryl, because they don't really know about her, do they? Not they bothered. Care, not bothered, other. mate. <laughs> Mr. President. <gasps> when he says Mr. President, it's like, doom. Dun, dun, dun. Well, so, so, oh yeah, I forgot about all that. Solidus was the president of the United States, which, when you think about it from a historical perspective, given how the big boss was like the most famous soldier, the fact that the president of the United States looks just like him should have been a bit conspicuous to people. But whatever. Right. Seven hours, seven minutes, and forty-six seconds. Forty-nine yeah. enemies killed. How many times did I die? Does it say that on there? It doesn't say. Continue is fourteen. So. so there's fourteen according to this save file, but obviously we. Messed it yeah, around a bit, didn't we've, we? We've hacked about a bit. Yeah. Leopard. So we've had 30 deaths in all. Well, I'd say I'd take two of those off because Lou just added some on for fun. But Did he's he? paying it. Yeah, he just he was like, oh, I'm going to count that then. Even though I reloaded because I messed something up. And he's like, I'm counting that as a death. Uh, it's his death counter. Yeah. No. If, if he starts taking the mick and we have to help him out with it, though, and he's like adding deaths on for fun, then... Because wow. by the end of the full, the full like three of the games we've got to get through it's going to get above 30 that death counter in it to a oh, considerable definitely. number I, I mean, reckon you might get to triple figures I, I mean, think we will by the time we finish them all easily there will be one thing obviously as you play through 2 and 3 you'll get like you'll get comfy with the control system so you might do better in 3 than you do in 2 or and if you can use analogue that's going to be much easier I, yeah. I imagine yeah definitely yeah hopefully yeah well it'll all be proper controls so it should all be good yeah. Right, so that's it. We're done. We are finished, so, and uh, thank you everyone for watching the stream. We'll be putting this out on Monday. Well, yeah, put it on Monday. Yeah, we'll put it out on Monday. Uh, it's, uh, you've been watching a pre-recording. <laughs> if you didn't know that already, I probably probably make it obvious on the actual stream. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. And we talk about hardware this week, aren't we? Hardware again. Yeah, hardware part two. Yeah. Right, see you later, guys. There it is.